How many times you wondered how the YouTube creators make videos so fluently spoken and with no pauses and stuff? Well, because they use a teleprompter. If you are a subscriber to my channel, you may have noticed that sometimes I talk very robotic, very monotonic. It's because I read off of a teleprompter. Today is not the case. I'm not reading off of the teleprompter because I have them all lined up here. And I'm trying my best to sound okay, even though I have to say it really, really helps when you have a teleprompter because you can write even the whole script or even just a few lines. So let's not waste time. Let's make it. Let's print it. Let's roll the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. If you're not subscribed, please do to consider so. Anyway, let's get right away into the video. I'm going to show you how to print and assemble your teleprompter for your videos. The setup is really easy. The print is super easy as well. There's literally no support required. This is the main piece we're gonna use as the teleprompter and a couple of more things we're gonna attach to it. I just wanna mention that this teleprompter specifically was printed with Sunlu Matte PLA and this one was printed with Sunlu High Speed PLA and this one was printed also with Sunlu High Speed PLA. And as you can see here, from the time lapses it went smoothly i'm also using for this project the frostbite build plate from bq check the review right here as you can see the print went smoothly i had just a little bit of warping on the corners but that's okay because the print surface it's really wide and i was expecting that the warping wasn't terrible, but I suggest to use brim ears just in case to keep it really flat. But the problem is when the plate cools down and the print also cools down, it's kind of go into the shrinking mode and it will pull up the build plate with it. So even if you put brim ears on it, it's going to warp a little bit anyways. What I suggested to do is to remove the print between 5 and 10 minutes after it finished so that the temperatures are not too cold or not too hot and the warping is very, very minimal. For this, there are no hardware requires, no glue requires, unless you really want to, to glue this one right here in the back, this little adapter that I'm going to show you in a second. But for the teleprompter to work, you need the glass in order to reflect the text from the phone to the glass. Another essential thing that you need is an app to read the text, your script, your whatever it is that you want to read off of the teleprompter. Because we have a glass, the text has to be upside down and inverted. Now you can't really see it because we need a black background behind the glass in order to reflect properly the text. And I guarantee you it works wonders. This particular app is driven by this remote that you can find on Amazon for like $12, 12 euros or something like that. It's really, really handy because you can see in some of my videos that I'm hiding it like this, maybe behind some prints and I'm moving it. The commands that I'm using usually are pause, play, stop. I can even change the speed that the text is going. I can make it slower or faster. And this is totally customizable and I found it so useful. But let's get to the build. To assemble the teleprompter is really, really easy. What we need to do first is to plug the small adapter in the back with these little plugs that you can see right here. They just fit in perfectly right there. You need to push a little bit, obviously. There you go. When you hear a click, that means they're in. There you go. When you hear the crack, it means it's fine. And that's pretty much it. The glass has to be 15 millimeters long and 10 millimeters high. And the thickness, it doesn't really matter. It can be one millimeter, two millimeters. All I did extra was adding this tape, electric tape on, on the edges right here because it was too loose for my liking and also it fits better and it slides in a little better and it looks a little bit more professional too. After that, it's done. But before moving further, I'm just gonna show you something else that is really, really cool. The models comes also with adapters for a smaller phone. For example, this is a Google Pixel 7 and it goes perfectly right there. There you go, and it fits perfectly. But for example, if you have a smaller model, like me, I have a Google Pixel 3, it's gonna be a little loose. So I have these adapters that are included with the file. I'm just gonna choose the thick one, and I'm gonna place them right there. One in there, and the other one on the other side, and we have a perfect fit. Also on the sides, we have holes, so we can plug a charger on our phones, and yeah, that's really useful too. So obviously what I do here is increase the brightness completely so I can see better. Also the other thing I need to turn on my Bluetooth, get a remote, press the button until it turns blue and now they are connected. How do I know they are connected? First of all the phone is telling me that they are connected but then I can press the button that I set 
play and now it's playing as you can see here now you will see the text perfectly and I can just go back if I miss some words or something I can go further down so I can pause I can play I can decrease the speed increase the speed I can go further up if I miss some word or I can go down I can pause again it just works for me and uh, it really helped me a lot even just learning my script and go even by memory but at least I remember my lines and if I don't remember them I can go back it's just a really really good guide also remember that teleprompters have been used for decades on TV so now I'm going to show you how to use the lens camera adapter but bear in mind that this is for my Sony ZEV10 so you will need to measure your own lens and print your own version because this one slides right back here and now I have it and this one goes right onto the lens and I'm gonna show you right now so this is my setup this is my camera what I need to do is to attach these adapter that matches my lens so I'm gonna just slide it right into the lens being careful to not turn anything it's gonna be a slight push making sure that everything is fine we're good next step is to get the phone with the app installed with your text in it and placed it into the teleprompter in this case I'm going to use the small one because I'm recording with the other phone so after that you need to be really careful to slide this adapter on this one right here and I'm going to slide it right there being careful not to drop it and making sure that it's right there perfect the only little problem we have with this one that it's blue so it's not completely black and it's not reflecting properly so I'm going to change it to the black one and now we can see the text I can just press play and you guys can see it running and now you have a really nice teleprompter that you can read your lines off of it and it's perfect let me tell you about everything that's going well or so I thought blah 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 perfect there is another thing that I made myself and is this adapter right here and I printed this because sometimes I have the teleprompter on and it's covering the screen where I can see myself and when I have the teleprompter on I cannot see myself properly if I'm in focus if the lights are fine so you may be asking what is that well I'm gonna show you what it does instead of attaching the teleprompter onto the camera I'm gonna attach it to this adapter right here like just like this so this slides right back into the small adapter and this can go two ways just like that horizontal or like that vertically if you have one of those clamps for your phone that goes into your tripod which I have but I cannot show you because I'm filming with it but yeah that's that's the gist of it and so I'm gonna use another tripod and put it right here behind the camera so I can see myself in the screen and I can use the teleprompter perfectly it's just a clamp that opens and closes where you can put your phone but this is literally an adapter or an adapter and I can just place it right there just like that and put on my teleprompter and this is what it looks like all assembled and completed and that's it for this video and this is how you get your own teleprompter easy build easy to print really really handy and super super useful before I end this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Sunlu for sending me the filament for this project. Also, you will get a huge discount if you buy this filament from the link in the description down below. They are affiliate link and it will help my channel and also will give you a huge discount. So make sure you check them out. If you found this video useful, please do consider to subscribe and leave a like and a comment down below. My name is Alessio, this is Pixel Forge Lab and as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.